Welcome to this uh, week's pod. My name is Martin and I'm an artist. This week I'm going to talk about poetry and I will talk about the importance of poetry in my life. Since I was very, very young in, in, in north of Sweden, um, I've been reading poetry. I, I mean, since I was like, I don't know, eight or nine or... Poetry for me has, has been like a life elixir, basically, that made me feel alive, but, but also made me interested in language and words and how can you express yourself and how can you express yourself in a, in a better way and in and, and a more interesting way and, or funnier way or a more loving way or a caring way or any way, you know, because to be able to express yourself, to be able to use words not only for, for, I mean, for the possibility to express yourself, but also to actually enrich in someone else's life and give something to them through your writing, from your mind and from your heart to that person. That is quite amazing when you think about it. And that's what poetry can do to you. It can touch your heart, your soul, your mind, it can change you. And everyone who loves poetry, I'm sure, had this kind of eureka moment when you actually just, you know, wow, this, is, this book is so fantastic, or this line, or this, this rhyme, or this, this, this sentence really changed my life because there was something in this that was so different from anything else I read. And it really woke me. It really did something to change the way I think or see the world. And that's where the power of poetry comes in. And that's the power with, that poetry has. And that's what I experienced in, in this age. And um, I think that's one of the reasons why, why poetry is so important for some, some people. But I also think that poetry is, is the language of the oppressed. I always had this theory about poetry, that it actually make people speak who dare not to speak. Because when you're oppressed, it can be because you're a minority, it can be because you feel different, it can be because you're treated differently. Poetry is a way to say what you actually feel, but in a kind of coded language, a language that you can still keep private, because being private might mean a lot to you, but you still need a way to express yourself. Because if you feel pain, it's really important to let that pain out. So poetry can give you that lifeline out. So no matter how depressed you are, no matter what, you can always write. You can write yourself out of your own jail. And I think a lot of us who make art and who write has done this. We have been writing, you know, so we can actually cope with the everyday life, with everything that comes against us. We can deal with it because we have a way to put words to it. So every word means something. And not only that, it can change your life, it can change someone else's life. And not only that, it can save someone's life. That's how important words are. Why don't you sing, little bird? Why don't you sing, little bird? You lost your voice, you lost your voice. Little bird, you lost your voice. As a writer, I, I constantly write. It's a process that you don't really know where it will lead you, but writing is like that. It's like this landscape that you walk through, and there's always like a new forest, a new tree, a new lake, a new place. 
And in that sense, it, it never ends. You just find something new you can write about all the time. And that's also why it's so difficult to end these projects, because you always write something new. But hopefully in 2021 uh, or 2022 <laughs> or 2023, I will be able to finish my, my, my book. But it comes down a little bit to funding as well. And this one is in English. So I will see how I proceed with the project and get it printed because it has to be realized in a, in a, in a practical and, and real way and it has to be a real book. It's a long process and most writers know that. So we'll see about the future and we'll see about the book. They say you are a chameleon Always change your mind You left me by the river Fallen behind Like a soldier the mind for whatever reason can find no more love is a butterfly if you lose it it dies That was my song, Love is a Butterfly. If you want to hear Love is a Butterfly again, you can find it on YouTube, if you are listening on YouTube now, on my channel. And you can also find links to my album, if you follow me on Instagram, in my bio. But now back to poetry. For this episode of the podcast, I actually recorded one of my poems, and it's called Music for Others. And that's what we're going to hear now. The words are a drum, a drum of our age. Print it, draw it, shout it. Let it shine on the outside, what's on the inside. Let me hear your prayer, your song, your true soul, written in red, blue and green, lilac, pink, yellow, sign. Give some color. Turn some pages in the grand book of life. Because what it took to bring up poetry to street corners, love to homeless, richness to stray dogs, good to left outs, to give fire a glow of hope from words. It's the walls that beats like drums, like a drum to your ear. 
street poetry on the go. In the midst of the blues and early mornings, before we let the train skip the rail, let a needle do that sting thing, let us bleed for art, bleed for the consequences of building hate and fear and jealousy. We have to shift gear, move it higher, but go slow, let it flow in circles. Like the river serpentine, the beginning of the ocean, the beginning of your voice, the beginning of your veins, your love, your body, your soul. You are beautiful just because you are. That's the world we're in, where everybody can, where everybody's voice is the beat and the hand and the drum. The drum are your words in all kinds of ways, richer, smoother, tougher, meaner, kinder. What you say matters, what you hear is a friend running by your side, winning it all together. Because we're all in the same boat, on that very ship that see no coastline, no lighthouse. Yes, ride that wave and hit that drum. See it, touch it, hold it, let it through, let it out, let it blow your mind away. Let it stay in everybody like the voice of tenderness. Yes, let it through. Don't you stop the train, the train of change. Let it through, through the down souls who holds you to the ground for no reason. Yes, let it go. Let your grip go. Let your hands go. Let it go. Yes, go. Just let it go. The music of others are the key, the pitch. Your heart beats. Your voice sings. So high from your chest. It's the drum, the beat, the story, the beginning of something new. You. You have to dig. You have to build something with empty hands. It's the breathing of your soul on a piece of paper. Your first letter, you. I'm happy to read you, share you, tell you it's all real. To be all real. To be the poet in the corner of the gutter. Make his way back to the rooms. And open the door and let go. It's your soul. You, I love you for it, because everybody needs that love. And those bleed inking papers to say what really is going on, what really is going down, what really is. And shake hands with destiny, because it's no dream or goal, it's just to be and be loved for what you are. And free yourself with your writing. Give yourself hope. Give yourself a new beginning. So I think that was, you know, kind of it for today. I would love to share more poems with you. And I can also recommend to to record your own poems. It's uh, pretty cool. And, and you listen to your poems in a different way in a recording studio or your home studio. Because suddenly you hear things that doesn't work when you read them, you know, out loud. And some things they just work because, I don't know, they were meant to work or or the rhythm is good or the phrasing is good or something like that. It's a little bit like making music. It has this element to it. When it sounds right, it works. When it sounds bad, it doesn't work. So in that sense, it's kind of easy to to record poetry. But you also find all these things that looks good on the page, 
but just doesn't sound right when you read it into a microphone. That's also one of the reasons why spoken word is so different from poetry on, on the page. It's really different. Um, but you have to experiment and, and see what, what, what works. Basically, that's, that's the main rule when you record stuff yourself. But I really do recommend it. Uh, you will hear your poetry in a different way. Uh, it's also fun to hear your own voice <laughs> and, and what it sounds like when you read it out loud. Thank you. And I haven't decided exactly what will happen in the next part, but my main subjects are poetry, music, and fine art photography and film, because these are the four areas I work within. We'll see what happens next time. See you guys. <laughs>